Have you ever been in love? Love is beautiful. The greatest love you can ever know is the love of God. The love of God is unconditional. We always love for a reason. But the Bible says God loves without a reason. In this message titled, Strange Love, you learn about love that transcends reason. Get your copy now. You can order this message series through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Strange Love at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing a fantastic new series titled Eternal Life. Yesterday, he explained that eternal life is a lifestyle of holiness which Jesus manifested while on earth. Today, he speaks more about this lifestyle of holiness. Let's join in. Walking in the light or walking in holiness, he said, it is the lifestyle of heaven. As he is also in the light. So if it go always in heaven, that's his lifestyle. We also, it should be our lifestyle. Then we have fellowship one with another. He said, then we can say God is our friend. So in today's sermon of eternal life, I want you to understand. John said he saw something. What did he see? He said, the first thing I saw about Jesus that he told me was holiness. Hallelujah. The only person who tells us about holiness, and it's a picture of holiness, is God. On earth, there is no picture of holiness. It's the lifestyle of heaven. When John the Baptist saw Jesus for the first time, that's what he saw. John the Baptist didn't know Jesus from anywhere. But when he saw him, John 1.29, the Bible says, the third day, John see Jesus coming unto him, and he said, Behold the Lamb of God. You know, the Lamb was a symbol of holiness. The Lamb. That's why it was used for all sacrifices. It stood for holiness. We take it away, the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man which is before me, for he was preferred before me. And I knew him not. He said, I didn't know him from anywhere. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending. And remaining upon him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And John said in 32, and I bore record. God told him that John, one day the Messiah will come to you. But a lot of people will come for baptism. But out of all those who come for baptism, look for the one who has the lifestyle of heaven. He says, the one who has the lifestyle of heaven, he will attract the presence of God. And that is what will let you know that truly God has come to live amongst men. Because he can come as a carpenter's son, he can come as an ordinary person, but something will set him apart that this guy is from heaven. He says, this is holiness, so watch out. So as John was baptizing, then he saw in a vision, the lamb, he saw the nature of Jesus, that this guy is the holy one. Then he said, ah, this must be the one from heaven. Because sometimes when people are from a place, even the way they talk, it means you see that this guy is from the place. The way they walk, that this guy is from that place. So he said, when you see that sign, you know that truly 
this is the one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting to the close of my sermon. I want to say that it is time for us to reflect the unique lifestyle of heaven. This then is the message that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you. The light was manifested and we have seen it. What did they see? They saw the holiness of Jesus. Thanks for joining us. Today we understood that like Jesus, the lifestyle of holiness will set us apart and make us unique. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Missing boy found after your prayer. Dear Kakwa, I wrote you about a boy who was missing for two days just after he was brought to stay with me two weeks before the incident. Indeed, we serve a living God. He was led home by an unknown elderly man. Thank you for praying and God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.